Wiping in or wiping out? Wipe out! <laughs> Frenzy! Welcome back to the Blender for Blogs video editing series. I am Justin and we are using Blender to edit videos for our blogs. Now this video is all about adding GIF files to our Blender video edit. And yes, that's right, I said GIF files. I'm one of the weirdos who actually pronounces GIF correctly. <laughs> but no, I know that there's a whole big debate on whether to say GIF or say GIF. Um, but whichever way you say it, that is what we are focusing on today. So you can see this little GIF animation that's looping through here in Blender. Now, Blender doesn't actually read GIF files, so what we're going to have to do is separate them into images and import it as an image sequence. So let's get started. So let's head on over to our browsers and the internet and we can search for our GIF animation. Now I found this one eventually on thread bombing. Now just like with every other media that you download from the internet, you want to be very careful and make sure you have the proper rights and permission to use that in your work. Now um, I eventually found this on thread bombing where we have a download link because that's what I made the mistake before I didn't have a download link. Uh, for something and my video got shut down by YouTube. You can watch that in a, cu a couple of videos ago. Now I found this animation on a couple different sites. We've got the thread bombing here. Uh, I also found it on Tenor. Tenor is a very popular GIF searching website uh, as well as I found it on Jiffy or Giphy which is also another popular uh, GIF searching website. Now I'm going to go back to the thread bombing here and because it's on a couple of different websites and this one has a download link for a direct download I'm going to assume that it's most likely public domain or at least a CC0 license but again don't take my word for it you need to do your own research make sure you have permission to use it so I'm gonna go ahead and click download and I've already downloaded this so you can just download that to your graphics folder now again, we can't just import that file into Blender, it doesn't read it. So in order to separate the images, um, the easiest way I've found to do it is to use an online uh, GIF image separator. So uh, the one that I used is Easy GIF here. If you just search separate GIF into frames, uh, it's the first one that pops up. And this is what it looks like. Um, be careful, you know, it has ads and stuff. So you just gotta make sure you are mindful of where you click. But here, if you say choose file, you can choose the file that you want. And we got kid face plant here with a GIF. And then click upload. And I like this because if you go down to split options, you can either output images in PNG or JPEG format. I'm going to choose PNG and click split to frames. And then it splits it into frames. Now be careful again. Um, the last time I had an ad down here and with a big download button and I accidentally clicked that one. So just make sure you're not clicking on an ad. It's actually going to be right down here. Say download frames as zip file. So there you go. Kid faceplant easy GIF, which again, I've already done. And now what you're going to want to do is to take your zip file and extract it to a folder here and hit extract. And I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to cancel that out. And we'll go back to Blender. I'm going to delete the ones that I already have here. Uh, make the start frame 1. And we'll make the end frame 5,000 for now. There we go. Okay, and then right here I'm just going to add in an image. And if we navigate to our kid faceplant easy GIF folder and select all of them by hitting A, add image strip, and voila! There you go. We now have our uh, GIF file in our Blender as an image sequence. So um, what I'm going to do here is just extend that out just a little bit on that last frame so it kind of just stays there. That's what I did in the video. Probably not that much long. Yeah, something like that. So this is the easiest way that I found to import a GIF file into the VSC sequencer for your edit. Now I'm going to show you one more way that I like to do it. 
So if you've heard of GIMP, basically it's the open source alternative to Photoshop, and it's actually pretty good. So um, if you just go to GIMP.org, you'll go here and you can download the latest uh, build, which is 2.10.8 at the time of this recording. So I've already done that. Uh, just follow the instructions on how to do that. And then when you open up GIMP, it will look like this at first. And so what you're going to want to do then is to go and take your GIF file and click and drag it into the canvas. And boom, it will separate all of the frames out into individual layers. So you can hide them and unhide them and all of that stuff. So what I'm going to do is hold shift and click the background one, which is the first one. You can see it's counting up here, two, three, four. Um, so this is the first one. I'm going to shift and then click this, and that will hide all of them except for this one. So this is the only one that's showing. I'm going to go to File, Export As, which is also Shift, Control, E. So Export As. And then I'm just going to create a new folder. Uh, kid, Face, Plant, 3, because I've tested this a couple different times now. Um, and here it says kid face plant here and we're exporting background. So it's not actually renaming this to our uh, layer names. So I'm just gonna make sure this says underscore 01 here. And then instead of GIF, I'm going to change this to PNG. And down here where you can see this checked here, it says select file type by extension. So if I change that to PNG, it should automatically recognize that if I hit export, and it does see export image as PNG, and then I'm just going to hit export again. And then we can go to our face plant three. We can see here is our image. So we do the same thing. I'm just going to regular click on the next layer above it, and that's what the layer that it shows. Uh, Control Shift E to export it. Select this one, and then change the one to a two. Export and export. Same thing, unhide this one, control shift E, change the two to a three, enter, enter for export, export, and on and on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this part up here. It's a little tedious. All right, now we have all of our images. Uh, Kid faceplant one to thirteen, and basically we just do the same thing uh, and go into Blender and import those as an image sequence. Now you might be wondering, well, this is really tedious and really slow. Why would you do it this way? And the reason I would do it this way is because if I didn't have internet access, I wouldn't be able to access the easy GIF. So um, if I'm editing like in a coffee shop or just in a remote area that doesn't have Wi-Fi, then I can still uh, you know, do my workflow here. Obviously, I would already have to have the GIF file on me, but uh, I would still be able to, you know, separate the images out. Now, there is a faster way to do it in GIMP, um, and that is if you download the plugin Export Layers. However, it's not working in the latest version. So if I do Export Layers, and if I just go back up here and then create another folder, get face plant. For down here in the settings, if I do show more settings, um, if I click on one of them, you can see, let's see, I'm just going to bring bring this out a little bit more so you can see what's happening to the pictures here. You can see it's all garbled. Um, and I don't know why it, it's doing that, actually. I think it has something to do with the alpha. Um, and maybe there's a way that I could uh, get it not to export that alpha. Um, I, I have tried to do a, a JPEG, which doesn't have alpha on there, but it still exports it out like this, which is just junk. And so I don't know. Um, it didn't used to do that. So it could just be the, the this particular GIF file that's kind of corrupt, or I don't know. But anyway, um, what this would do, I'm just going to go ahead and do it, is all I have to do is hit export into the folder that we want. And then export. Oh, I did not select all of them. Whoops. Oh wait, 
No, I think it's doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, see, it's saving down here, so it's just doing it very slowly. Um, but yeah, you can see it does it automatically for you. That way you don't have to export each individual layer yourself. And let's go and check those here. Yeah, so it's not, uh, yeah, it's just all garbled. So that's why I didn't do that. But if you wanted to go check it out, I'll show you where you can do that. Uh, go to uh, GitHub. And I'll leave a link to this down uh, below as well. Uh, but you can just download whichever operating system that you have. Uh, you can download that here and follow the instructions. But you can test that out. Uh, maybe it'll work on your machine. But yes, that is it. That is how you take a GIF file and you bring it into Blender's video sequence editor. So now next time I'm going to compile all of our uh, image and text animations together like I said we were going to do this time, but I had forgotten about the GIF so I wanted to go over that real quick. And so now next time we're going to put it all together. So stay tuned.